Let me be real. Let me be real. Started chasing. That's actually how it's going to start now. That's actually how it's going to start. The car fully packed. Ah. <laughs> On the way to a red car, hello? Yeah! Pay more weekend. Red Alert Paintball um, for Red Kite Alert, a three day event. That was two. That was four. That was five. Three day event <laughs> here at Red in Newbury. So, yeah, I mean, we're here a little bit early, so we're going to unpack all of that stuff, uh, get tents out, and then we'll join you later. Peace. We're here. Tent set up. Yeah. 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 And we're going on. Which is the day, the truth that will free me Now I'm in my zone When they can't see us, when we can't be touched Young boy grown You can call it love, I guess it's just the things I know But I had to trust, to see a way out from where I belong Made this world my own, now I'm in my zone <laughs> <laughs> Time's up. Yeah, first game. So as you know, we're here at Red Alert Paintball. We're just playing a couple of easy games on the Friday um, just to get our eye in. Everyone's waiting for the Saturday and Sunday where we know the real pushes are going to happen. So we're just enjoying paintball for a day. Um, I'm running just a pistol for this game. Um, obviously, I'm trying to die down here because, you know, if it's out on the field, you might as well see what a box mag is like. But I'm running the exact opposite. I'm running a six-round pistol a revolver of my Urex. HDR 50 for this game but we're going to get into it we're going to see some action, we're going to see some stuff and there's gulag footage coming up at the end of this video so make sure you stick around, keep watching but we're going to get into this first game real quick quick shout out also to all the awesome and amazing people we played with this weekend it was absolutely ridiculous but let's get into it Team Deathmatch, eliminate the enemy team, and we push hard right here to see if we can figure out some angles. Uh, but yeah, we're trying to stay in this game as long as we can. But I am what I am, I for who I am. I'm team with me, man, I swear, man, yeah. the whole world in my hands. Ah. So I make the push for this hut uh, so that we can at least be closer to the action and start figuring out what we're going to be able to do because from back there we weren't really able to see or do very much so you know always figuring out the next place to bump up got to push the action forward and especially when you see your teammates in front of you that means it's clear you better get out there do your bit do you know what I mean? So now we're just scouting out down this right hand yeah, side, trying to find the enemy team, see where their positions are. Obviously, before we yeah. move, you want to make sure you know where the <laughs> enemy is so that you don't run into fire. Um, so just peeking down this right hand side. Moving middle. We've got him moving out in the open now. Can't get him. You can't get him because you use the pistol. You did that to yourself. Yeah, try. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get, tuck in, tuck in. Yeah, that hit you. Right Lauren with a good push there, but she gets unlucky. 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 Obviously, it didn't look dangerous enough when Lauren did it, so I might as well have a go. Go on then, go on then, go on then. 
make it in there safe luckily now I'm gonna peek see what I can see from here because obviously the middle of this bunker is quite exposed uh, so it's pretty much a stopping gap and I know I need to move from here again so I'm gonna look left look right and then make the dash to the middle of the field where we know we've got someone posted up also covering so that's a perfect little move I got one dead ahead here. What's the point in having a pistol if you don't shoot it? So I'm firing these rounds off. The good thing about the HDR50 is it's actually surprisingly accurate at range as well. So it's a good kind of sidearm, and I mean you can kind of run it as a primary in these occasions, which is it's it's fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's fun. Watching these back. These reloads need to be quicker, man. Get that. Get it. Reload the thing. One tactical reload later. Back in the game. Listen. Those last shots. That's the sound of the CO2 running out in my pistol, which I recognise here. I know I've still got a couple shots, but they're going to be such low velocity. So uh, I've got to change my CO2 at the middle of the field, in the middle of fire, when I don't have another weapon on me. So, I mean, you know, this is going to be fun. I'll do you the favour of fast forwarding this a little bit as I kind of keep peeking to make sure I'm not getting run up on at the same time as fondling my pockets to find my CO2 <laughs> and uh, relevant tools to take uh, the CO2 cartridge out. But I found the sacred Allen key. I have the right tools, thank goodness. Always make sure you're carrying some tools, the relevant tools for your gun out with you on the field. You need those tools. Dude, what's all that stuff you're grabbing? Tools! Tools! <laughs> Duct tape, zip ties and gloves! I have to have my tools! I mean, those tools are just suggestions. You bring whatever tools you need, okay? Right. Okay. So now I've unscrewed the marker, I can finally take out the old CO2 cartridge, put in that new one. Start screwing it back together and we're almost back in the game. Ideally you wouldn't do this in the middle of a firefight but when your secondary is now your primary I suppose it's to be expected but we're reloading, we're getting back in the game. Quick tap on the bottom to release that CO2 and the marker is back in action. So now I can stop focusing on my marker, I can start looking back through this bunker and seeing what I can see and just in time I pop up, bow, and then straight back down. <sighs> All I can say is that splatter stays there for a while so make friends with it, it's going to be there. It's I am sorry about that double tap my bro. But he was running, he was sprinting. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? So now we have team reinforcements coming into this position, which is fantastic. It means we've held this bunker well enough at the middle of the field. I move towards the right of the bunker to see what I can see, and I am face to face with an enemy team. So, I mean, I'm not really sure what I can do here with this pistol, but we'll see what we can do to this tiny little gap. Before anyone says it as well, I know that this is a horrible angle for the camera, so there's not very much you can see, and I can't have a gun cam on this pistol without it being absolutely ridiculous to run around with. Um, so, I mean, if you're enjoying the music in the background of this bit, it's all me. So, I mean, yeah, go check out on Spotify and stuff. Wait for the new EP. Wait for some more action to happen. We're just waiting here. We'll wait together. Let's just wait together. How about that? Because I'm taking some snapshots here. Well, why don't we just take this time to actually enjoy this revolver? Let's just take in this beauty. The sleek lines, the curves, the Picatinny rails, the cylinder, the muzzle, the iron sights, all the beautiful parts, all the way down. Oh, oh, I got shot. Well played. Yeah, it's a tough pill to swallow getting killed by a floating head in the bushes. Um, but I'm out. I got shot. It was a good little run with the pistol, though. I had to do my bit. Welcome.
welcome to the Gulag, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who don't know what it is, I'm showing you some footage here from the Call of Duty game that it is from. Um, it's basically a prison where you fight each other 1v1 to get released, and Red Alert Paintball have done the tremendous job of recreating this in real life for Paintball and Airsoft. So, we're going to get into it. Pistols only, 1v1s, fight to survive. I mean, what more needs to be said? Let's get into it. This is my first 1v1 against Yaz, another paintball player who was there. Dope dude, played alongside him all day, Friday and Saturday and Sunday. So it was just fun to play against him for a bit. I move into the middle of the map here and I'm trying to check my left and right. And we'll see what happens. I'm just going to let these play out. Well, I say I'm going to let it play out from here, but I'm actually waiting in the middle section. I know I've closed the field in half and Yaz hasn't advanced, so... I'm just kind of waiting for him to, to push and see what I can get out of it. And just like that, it's done. Incredible scenes. We both shoot each other. So that's the draw. But we go into round two. Let's see what happens this time. A different route for me this time, but the same technique of closing the field in half. What can I say? I like doing it. Yaz fires his first couple shots into the ground and I managed to shoot him in the arm as he whips around the corner. So let's get into round three, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Let's do it. see in the replay they run aimlessly around the same barricade not knowing that the opponent is there and then eventually reach back around the barricade and shoot each other in the face well after me and Yaz had shot each other in the face enough times we decided let's team up so we're doing some 2v2 gulag rounds here which is just as crazy as it sounds especially when one of the opponents is using two pistols so let's get into it Unfortunate early death there for Yaz, which leaves me against these two. The guy with two pistols now confidently pushes the centre, but I peek from the smoke. Pap, one in the back, and then I myself get shot, so they win that round. Round two, a whole nother story. Let's get into this. managed to take that guy out nice and early but unfortunately as we both round this corner we're not sure and we shoot him again so we are really really sorry it's the danger of this CQB environment and it's the gulag you know it gets pretty intense in there so now me and Yaz are going to try and coordinate and move on this last guy Yaz runs gets shot and I popped him in the head and that was the first of two times that I did that and I'm so sorry my brother but we won that round we had to get, we get that win Round three, let's do this thing. Need some crackle and pop, cause that was all of the snap right there. Quick snapshot of the first guy, and second round, bow. Delivered to the second guy, that's two kills. Had to do it, had to run the middle. <laughs> Well played. Come on, motherfuckers, come on. 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 Release the brainstorm to make the motherfucking brain warm. A strange form, some kind of miracle. Nope. 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 Nope.
Massive thanks again to Red Alert Paintball and OMG Events for organising such a dope event. Everyone for playing and look out for more Gulag footage coming real soon. Check the next video.